Welcome to episode 4 of Exploring the Ball. This episode is very special. Me and my family spent a brilliant few days in the city and I can't wait to show you all the fun we had. We packed our bags and we were ready to set off for Hilton Hotel. This was our first trip since England in January of this year. It's been a long term for the kids. And because I was only in London for a week, I didn't really get to spend much time with them. For that reason, we jumped at the opportunity to go to a hotel in our break. After all, it's a family tradition to venture out into the city every few months to explore new hotels, do new things and eat different foods. After about 40 minutes of driving, we finally reached the city of Sydney. As we drove, we had a beautiful view of the world famous Harbour Bridge and even got to drive on it. Enjoy this gorgeous footage that I was able to capture. We arrived at the hotel and started to explore. Because we were Hilton Honor guests, we were entitled to early check-in. Me and my family purchased two interconnecting rooms and they did not disappoint. The view, however, was underwhelming as we didn't have a view of the harbour. However, everything else was definitely up to the mark. Soon it was night time and everyone became hungry. We decided to take an Uber to the famous Pakistani restaurant Lal Kila at Darling Harbour. When we arrived, we were told that there was no a la carte food for a few hours now. The only option was a buffet because of Ramadan. This upset us because the food we had specifically come for, including their well-esteemed Akbari Nahari, was unavailable in the buffet. We expressed our concern and the owner of the restaurant, who I'm very close friends with, helped us out and made an exception. It is because of him that we were able to dine in Lal Kila and this review is able to come to you. Him and the rest of the staff were kind enough to provide us with complimentary dates and a roux of zar with basil seeds to break our fasts. The drink was beautiful and the dates were sweet. We were also given poppadoms with mint chutney. We ordered a Lahui Chakkari chaat. Crunchy chickpeas in it, potatoes, royal potatoes. So I would actually rate 9 out of 10 for sure. We also ordered tandoori chicken. The tandoori chicken was juicy, tender and spicy to the perfect degree. As a former chef, I can tell that it was marinated properly with aromatic spices and cooked in a real clay oven as opposed to some inauthentic version that are cooked nowadays. This dish gets a side score of 10 out of 10. Next, all the mains arrived. This included rice, beef akbari nahari, naan and butter chicken. The rice was soft and fluffy. The crispy onions on the top were a nice addition. The rice receives a side score of 8 out of 10 as it was quite basic. Nihari is definitely a family favourite and always has been. There is no place like Lal Kila to get rich, flavourful and all-round delicious Nihari. The meat is tender and falls apart. It is easily the best in Sydney. For this reason, the Nihari receives a side score of 10 out of 10. The naan was soft on the inside and crispy on the outside. It was beautifully buttery and soaked up both of the curries well. The naan receives a side score of 9.5 out of 10. 
Butter chicken is a dish that is very easy to mess up. Many restaurants cook it to the taste of a western palais. And because of this, butter chicken can easily become too sweet and not spicy enough. Lal Khila, however, stays true to the dish and cooks it in a refined daisy style. It is creamy yet beautifully aromatic. The butter chicken receives a side score of 10 out of 10. After dinner, we took a late night trip to Riverino Gelato in Barangaroo to have some ice cream. As you can see from the footage, there was a mouth-watering assortment of gelatos you could choose from. What I have here is a Cremino Rivarino. It was over the top creamy with nutty hints of hazelnut. A resounding Nutella and white chocolate flavor could be tasted with just a lick. This ice cream is stunning to look at but is too sweet for my liking. I believe there should be some depth to balance out the overwhelming sweet because I couldn't nearly finish the whole thing. As the saying goes, the first bite takes like heaven and the second bite takes you there. For this reason, I give the Crimino Riverino ice cream a 7 out of 10. With that day one was drawn to a close. As this video is getting quite lengthy, the rest of the days will be uploaded shortly in different parts. So stay tuned. Turn your notifications on to be alerted when a new adventure is uploaded. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe everyone. This is your presenter Saeed Razvi, signing off.